This news had our office buzzing and had us all excited for what this means for the future of women's sports. So we wanted to bring that combo to you on the couch for a little bit of girl chat. And joining me today is team captain of the University of Portland's women's soccer team and our Everyday Northwest intern, Colby Wilson. Hey, Colby. Hey. <laughs> okay, so you are an athlete. I was a former athlete. You know, Kaylin is doing it. 41 points, 12 assists, 10 rebounds, second best in NCAA uh, basketball history after former Oregon star Sabrina uh, Ionescu. She, I, this puts women's sports, I think, overall on the map. It, it's like one of those moments where you can't deny it, right? Right. It's one of those things. It's definitely one of those strives to where people are starting to pay attention to women's sports and what they're doing. But... I will say there's we still have a long way to go. Absolutely. I think that one of the the main things I, I've had this conversation <laughs> many times. I have very strong opinions um, and I, I feel like all of the advertisement and because people always talk about, oh, women's uh, sports don't get enough views. They don't right. get enough support. But I think on the business side of it, we don't have a lot of con contributions to telling the women's stories. Like w how many movies are we going to make about LeBron and, right. you know, commercials and all that. And I think once we put those dollar signs behind women, we'll get more tickets sold and, and, you know, more of everything, right? Right. And the way I see it is, you know, they're investing money in the people that make the most money, which in most cases are the men. But I do think that the women are still on the other side of it working so hard, putting in the same work that the men are, and the fact that they can't control the money portion of it all. Yeah. So the fact that money is playing such a significant role in their recognition is definitely one of the downsides that I've seen thus yeah. far as an athlete myself. Yeah, and you know, um, just keeping on track with this basketball, uh, Angel Reese is another one doing big things at LSU. I've seen it all over my social media, and I hope it's not just my feed. All over my TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think this is really causing people to pay more attention, and hopefully it rolls over into women being offered more when it comes to college tuitions and getting that scholarship and rolling over to the WNBA. We just saw, you know, our situation over in Russia with, you know, Brittany Griner. And once we start the promotion, I think, of women's sports in general and players will get better. Yes, and it's gotten better. I mean, NIL, speaking of the player, the women player at LSU, she gave her, I saw her, she got gifted her team a bunch of purses because yeah. she got money through NIL. So I do think the, the strides are there. They're, yeah. get, they're getting there. Yeah, we've, we've made a lot of uh, strides, but we still got a long way to go. Right. Colby, thank you so much for joining me, girl. Thank Always you for having me. Always good to have a little me. sports chat. <laughs>